Welcome to the Crystal Palace National Sports Centre on a gloriously sunny afternoon. And many of this very large crowd here have already enjoyed the facilities in the parklands, having their picnics on the lawns. And now they're packed into the stands for this second day against the German Democratic Republic. And they're looking forward to some very good events. Nick Rose to come in the 5,000 metres, Brian Hooper in the pole vault, Paul Dickens in the hammer, Sue Reeve in the long jump. These are some of the hopes we have. Remember, the men started slightly ahead of the East Germans at the end of the first day, 53 to 45. Our women were being fairly well trounced, 58 to 27 and uh, a lot of interest on the events already in progress. Over in the javelin, Tessa Sardison has to take on the twice Olympic champion, Ruth Fuchs, and that competition is very much in progress, as is the pole vault. Onto the track is the men's 800 meters. And Olaf Bayer and Jürgen Straub, their steeplechaser turned miler, who ran against Steve Ovid yesterday. He's come in wearing number three. And his run 146.4, and is no slouch at this event. The other East German 145.8, and to take them on, young Peter Hoffman and David Warren. There's number one, Olaf Bayer. He's only 20 there, wearing uh, the familiar sweatband is Peter Hoffman, moved up from 400 metres to 800 metres, winner of the Scots 400 metre championships last weekend. On the outside, David Warren, the Southern Counties champion, who ran 147.4, and Jürgen Straub wearing three, who was beaten over 1,500 metres so emphatically by Steve Obert yesterday. But uh, the British boys have got very, very tough opposition indeed over 800 metres. These two East Germans, on paper, are two seconds faster. So one, Olaf Bayer. Runs the better bend and tucks inside, and Jürgen Straub goes up with him. David Warren cuts inside. And uh, Peter Hoffman, who likes to run from the back, he likes to control his race. Uh, he did this indoors at Cosford, was finding a little bit of sprint finish, but in this class of field, one wonders whether that's seven yards or so already uh, is too much to make up, particularly as the pace is quite fast. And although he looks relaxed, this is, uh, this is not the sort of running that he's had to make up at Cosford. And he may regret it just later as the East Germans make quite a gap already as they come up to 400 metres. Bayer is leading this round at a fair bit. There they are. They take the bell now. 53 seconds. And... Uh, this is too early to lose contact, and David Warren's got to push himself now and try and get into contact, as the two East Germans, quite unconcerned about the opposition as well, they might be at the moment. This is a runaway, and they've got to show a little more fight. Suddenly, Peter Hoffman does a little about it, but all he does is uh, go past the ailing David Warren and has made up four or five metres and must battle to get into contact. He really is sprinting well, he's left it late, and number three there, Jürgen Straub, leads him on. Now the crowd cheering young Peter Hoffman on, he has got a lot of sprint finish, but away goes Bayer, Hoffman's after him though, he's left it too late to win the race, he looks as though he could have won it, and Bayer gets there from Hoffman from Straub, although he's run a personal best, and he ran it well, at the same time, it must be said, when he realises what he could have done, he might well have taken Bear as well. Tactically, just a little naive, but having said that, it was a bold, brave run with 200 metres to go because he must have been tired because we think the winner's time, 146.4, in which case Peter Hoffman, whose personal best prior to this meet was 147.9, which he ran in Athens earlier this season, running for Scotland, that must have bettered that by a second or so. So, a personal best for Peter Hoffman in finishing second. He did well to split the East Germans, but it was still a very good win for Olaf Bayer, only 20, his time 146.4. The European qualifying standard in this event, 147.5.